So we're going to, we've got 2x minus 5y equals 20. And we're going to figure out what x is when y is 2. And then figure out what x is when y is negative 4, right? Correct. So basically it's, you know, find x when y is negative 2 or y is negative or y is 2 or y is negative 4. So, so we go 2x minus 5 times y equals 20. And good practice to use parentheses when you're plugging things in. So we, we're plugging something in for y, and then we'll be able to find x. So we're plugging a 2 in for y. So we have 2x minus 10 equals 20. And then we solve for x. First step to solve for x. You add 10. Add 10, lovely. 2x equals 30. Next step. Uh, divide by 2. Divide by 2. X equals 15. I'm just going to do a quick check just for fun because 2 times 15 minus 5 times 2 should be equal to 20. So 2 15s is 30. And that's 10. And that's equal to 20. That's good. 20 equals 20. Yep. That worked out, right? Correct. And this one, y is negative 4 this time. So we've got 2x minus 5 times negative 4 equals 20. So again, practice when you're plugging something in for a letter. Always use parentheses. And y is negative 4. So plug that in there. So we get 2x plus. Good. Yeah, because it's a negative 5 times a negative 4. So it is a plus 20 indeed. Yep. Good. Okay, and then minus 20. Minus 20, yep. Good job. And we get 2x equals. Zero, right? Yes. Right. Next step is? To divide. Divide by two. Yes. And x is? Zero. Yep. Correct. Yep. And also, it's kind of fun to think, OK, if I've got two times the missing number gives zero, well, the missing number simply has to be? Has to be zero, doesn't it? Because two times if two times something is zero, then the something has to be zero, right? Correct. Right, cool. And quick check on this. Uh, let's see. Two times zero minus five times negative four should be equal to twenty. And that would give us zero plus twenty equals twenty. And that also works out.